I'm Susan and I'm a caseworker. I've received a form outlining a change of circumstance for Linda Jones. Linda is currently in receipt of streamlined Medicaid benefits. Upon submission of her application, Linda realised there is a minor correction required to her address details and has contacted me to inform me that her address was previously recorded as S State Street when it should be S State Drive. I am now going to process this update on the application case. Here we have Linda's homepage, where I can see that Linda has an existing insurance affordability integrated case and is currently eligible for streamlined Medicaid. From the pending application list, I can also see the subsequent application submitted by Linda, which I must now update. To open Linda's newly created application case, I select the pending application's reference number. To process her change of address, I must update the existing address evidence. To do this, I access the address evidence from the evidence dashboard by selecting the dashboard link from within the evidence tab. After selecting the addresses link from the evidence dashboard, I now view the addresses evidence. Here, I see that the recorded address is S State Street, which must be updated to S State Drive. To make the addresses change, I select the continue editing link for both the private and mailing addresses. Once the necessary changes are made, I navigate back to the application case homepage to authorise the application by selecting the authorise link. During the authorisation process, I select to reuse the existing integrated case from the list and save. To view the existing insurance affordability integrated case, I select the Related Cases tab and click on the Insurance Affordability Integrated Case reference number. From the Evidence Dashboard, I notice that the address evidence is in edit. On viewing the address evidence, I notice that this has resulted in the creation of a second evidence record. The recently updated address evidence has brokered to the Insurance Affordability Integrated Case, but it did not link the update to the existing evidence record. This is confusing, as I am wondering why the old address's evidence is still there. I'll have to fix this up and then ask one of my co-workers why later. Firstly, I select to discard the newly created private and mailing address's evidence. I'll now update the initial private and mailing addresses records to record the change by clicking on the edit link and updating street to drive for each address. Once the required updates are completed, I verify the outstanding verifications. I can now apply the evidence changes by selecting the Apply Evidence Changes link from the Action menu. Once the evidence is activated, I see that Linda remains eligible for streamlined Medicaid. This is a very time-consuming process, and the time it took to process this application was much longer than anticipated. I am frustrated, as I have to manually clean evidence up in multiple places, and I don't trust that the system will get it right. Okay. 
Here, we have Linda's homepage, where I can see that Linda has an existing insurance affordability integrated case and is currently eligible for streamlined Medicaid. From the pending application list, I can also see the subsequent application submitted by Linda, which I must now update. To open Linda's newly created application case, I select the pending application's reference number. To process her change of address, I must update the existing address's evidence. To do this, I access the address's evidence from the Evidence Dashboard by selecting the Dashboard link from within the Evidence tab. To view the address's evidence, I select the Addresses link from the Evidence Dashboard. Here, I see that the recorded address is S State Street, which must be updated to S State Drive. To make this change in address, I select the edit link from both the private and mailing addresses and update street to drive. Once the necessary changes are made, I navigate back to the application case homepage to authorise the application by selecting the Authorise link. During the authorisation process, I select to reuse the existing integrated case from the list and save. To view the existing insurance affordability integrated case, I select the Related Cases tab and click the Insurance Affordability Integrated Case Reference Number. From the Evidence Dashboard, I notice that the address evidence is in edit. On viewing this evidence, I see that the update to the address's evidence is applied and linked to the existing address record. The system automatically corrected the evidence and no duplicate records were created. I verify the outstanding verifications and apply the evidence changes by selecting the Apply Evidence Changes link from the Action menu. Once the evidence is activated, I see that Linda remains eligible for streamlined Medicaid. This is a more intuitive process as the evidence is automatically corrected and duplicate records are no longer created.